All right, should be up and running here. What's up, RTC? It's been a while. Yeah, I haven't actually really used Ermac quite yet. I've um I've only tried him out a little bit in the combo tutorial just to see what some of his basic combos were. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what he has to offer. I'm glad they gave him a mask. <laughs> it looks way better with a mask than without it. I still wish he had like a more classic ninja looking outfit similar to these, like the MK3 ones they added. It would have been cool if he would have started with one of those, but the mask is definitely going to go a long way. But yeah, I mean, the goal is to just uh, do the first three maces like we normally do for this stream and then do another stream for the last three, hopefully finishing it. But they did do some changes. Um, Cassie Cage. Uh, Cassie Cage is just like a rumored person for the next combat pack. Same with uh, Kung Jin. Unless you're referring to Janet Cage, which Janet, Ca Janet Cage is in the game now. Well, she was ever since last month. But, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just get it started here. When this dark Raiden learned of other timelines and earth realms, he vowed to protect them all. He set out to build an impenetrable magic barrier to shield them from outside incursions. To power this barrier, Raiden wants to connect each Earth Realm's Jinsei, its life force, together. But co-mingling the immense cosmic power of all Jinseis will cause an explosion which will destroy reality. Entrenched in his position, Raiden refuses to heed the danger. Um. Well, he will connect the things got a little complicated the because now there's no multiple timelines, so no the main timeline's Evil change. Raiden is technically gone, but this timeline's Evil Raiden is not, and it's invading the normal timeline. Wait, why is the gateway portal already 100% done? Because uh, this game basically, through the story mode, opens up the multiverse. So, pretty much anything can happen now. Um, it would have been cool if they would have used the old Raiden face with the evil Raiden skin, like in the story mode, though. That would have been really awesome. Alright, we're starting with Living Forest right away, which is kind of good. Living Forest is usually pretty huge. But then again, Ramparts is also pretty massive. But I know they made some changes to invasions a little bit. Uh, they reduced the amount of survives that can pop up and instead added character specific combo challenges and like target like target practice shooting type things with projectiles. So that's gonna be interesting to see how that works. Um, usually just spirits live in the living forest. I mean, if it's the non-corrupt living forest, it's a pretty peaceful place, but the corrupt one is, is the problem. Which they usually start you off, well, it, it changes each season, but it looks like we're starting off in the non-corrupt section of the forest. Alright, Ermac is 100% weak to energy. Well, thank God Raiden's the boss, we don't have to worry about him then. And he's 100% weak to dark, but he's good with electrical. Um, we might as well just equip Janet. Cage. She might be good with him, not entirely sure. We won't we don't have access to Mavado yet until next month, which is unfortunate because oh. Outworld error macro. <laughs> That's cool that it says that. That's basically like his origin when he was created, basically, was the whole error macro thing. Uh which was just the original arcade's way of finding errors in it, but people thought it was a hidden character. And then he became Ermac in MK3. But, I mean, he has changed massively since then. What do we start? We're starting with a Quan Chi battle right away. I wonder if they added any of the other DLC characters to Invasions. Because they had Quan Chi last season, but I'm, I would like to be able to see the Omni-Man or 
even Peacemaker in these, but I don't know if they actually did that. Oh, and we're starting out with Dark Size right away, which we're going to take double damage from those. It's like they expected people to use Ermac. Right, so we still have our teleport. Christ, that side already almost killed me. What else do we got here? Oh, we have a command grab move. Um, I mean, the villains are uh, Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. They're like a classic villain duo. Yeah, these dark sides are literally gonna kill me. <laughs> Oh, thank God I blocked that one. No! God damn it. <laughs> they have to start you out with the one thing Ermac is weak to. So if you want to use Ermac, you can't even learn him because the dark side is just going to knock out half your health in one hit. Even blocking that side messed me up. Fight! Basically, have to just duck without blocking to avoid them, but I also have to see them coming. Oh, thank god they hit him that time. What is that just. Oh, I must have got hit by a side or something because we just lost half our health almost. What else has he got? Oh god, he comboed into a Psy attack? Okay. That combo is not doing anything. There we go. <laughs> Saw that one coming. <laughs> Well, there's his fatality. first fatality. Palette, there we go, we got a brutality. What the hell, that is a crazy looking mask. Not something I could really see Ermac wearing, that's something like Toro would wear in MKX. Um, yeah, I mean, I like the heroes of MK. One of my favorite characters is still Liu Kang, but I've always liked Johnny Cage, Kung Lao. I, I was never, like, a huge fan of Raiden. Like, I don't hate Raiden, but I don't know. I never really played as him much throughout the series. I also play as Katana a lot, but usually the two main people I'd play as outside of DLC characters when they're newly added would be... Liu Kang and Melina, probably. I, I Although, I don't really... I like Melina more in 11 and X than I do in this, but maybe I just haven't spent that much time with her. Acid Storm? Right, we should be good with that. As long as it's not energy or dark. Fight! He has like a natural pop up. I just don't remember what it was. Yeah. Alright, what's our brutality? Okay, down three times the grab. Oh, he actually has a really crazy grab. That thing has range on it. Right? Brutality. Ermac wins.
What, do you not check your Steam updates, Tiger? Yeah, we're max out. I basically just started playing as him. Gotta check out his other specials. Fight! Ooh, that actually has distance on it. Oh, it like goes to the ground. Oh, that's full screen too. Uppercutted me out of my brutality. Just leave work and go Beta. home and play as Ermac. Falling heads. Fight. No, I can't even catch her. Alright, that's a pretty sick win pose. Ooh, I think Kenshi does dark damage. So it's not gonna be good for us. Standing on the one spot that I can't really engage in on. Killed himself. Seeking Solitude, that looks kind of crazy. Oh, does this actually loop back around to our main path? Yeah, it does. Malfunctioning Dark Bot. Why is it a silhouette? Combo trial? Oh, this is the combo trial that they were talking about. Yeah, he's harder to get the hang of over, um, like, Peacemaker, but he looks like he does have a lot of things he can do. Destroy the cyborg with a single combo before it self-destructs. Use elemental strengths and weaknesses to your... Okay, well, that... 
Fight. What combo? Brutality. Okay, that you makes sense. I, they explained everything perfectly. I know exactly what to do here. Do I need to do a certain amount of hit combo? Am I doing a specific combo? Like, there's a lot of info I need here. <laughs> I guess we just keep punching him and doing combos until one works. <laughs> I actually would rather have the su survives right now because this is extremely vague. Fight! I wasn't you even done lose. with that combo. <laughs> he just blew up in the middle of the combo. Fight! Okay, well, I don't know. You lose. Right, let's go back to the Mesa once and see if it tells me something else. So far, I do, I do not like the new combo trials, because it doesn't make any sense. I guess we're using someone who has dark. They said they added character-specific stuff, but they also stated that it would switch you to the character necessary. But I guess you're just supposed to Melina. switch it on your own? Serena. Let's find out. This would actually, kind of, this would be tough because you would have to know a decent combo for Fight. whatever character has that element type. Then. Brutality. You lose. Wasn't even done with my combo. I was just about to punch him out of the air, and he just exploded. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay, we're supposed to do a combo that takes out his entire health bar. Why didn't it just say that in the description? Why? It's like, use element types as their weakness. It's like, you mean just eliminate their entire health bar in one combo. That's all you had to say. Hmm. I could see those getting pretty ridiculous. That's fine, RTZ. I don't know if I've ever actually seen Lady in the Tramp. Ermac. I should have used a character that had used Dark that I didn't have at level 35, because I basically just... Now we have a time trial for Kung Lao? Well, I don't have Kung Lao at 35, so I can at least get XP for him. We can look at his new outfit that they added today, too. Survive. Oh, I have to go down. Okay, well, that one was easy. That's probably basically like a tutorial one. Kung Lao wins. They gave me eight, that was 800 XP? Wow, it seems like a lot less. Treasure Planet, oh, Treasure Planet sounds familiar. I think I've seen that, but it was just such a long time ago that I don't actually remember if I've seen it. Oh, we went full circle here. I don't have a key. Alright, well, we've exhausted this path. I need to find a collector and buy a key, but I also don't have enough crowns for keys yet. Fight. Uh, yeah, it sounds... I, I think I have seen that. I 
actually uppercut him. Forward B, what does that lead into? Oh, you can do A after. Oh wow, that actually advances you pretty far. I feel like, um, is there another treasure chest over here? Yeah, god damn, we already need two keys. Yeah, in terms of, like, opening up a combo with Ermac compared to Peacemaker, his is a lot tougher. Because, yeah, I think you, like, his main combo opener, I think, requires meter. Peacemaker has quite a lot of combo paths without meter burn, but... Balling out. Falling out. My first thing was like Cabal, but he's not in this game. Wonder if anybody. has anything about clues yet or anything like that. Oh, yeah. I never would have gotten that one. No, Janet Cage is just a female version of Johnny Cage from a different timeline. So basically, if Johnny Cage was just born a woman, basically. But this clue requires us to play as a reptile. Which I guess kind of makes sense. Reptile. They did add new moves for reptile in this update. Janet Cage. So they probably have a secret for him just so you play as him. I don't know what his new moves are though. I know he can cancel a lot of his aerial overhead special move now. It's, I don't know if you have to meter burn it though. Right, how do you do force ball? Force ball brutality by any chance? The show is so brutality. Reptile wins. Yeah, like the final there's like a final act of this game where they just have a ton of them that can show up. There's like a female reptile that can show up that you have to fight sometimes and like a bunch of other gender swaps. But Janet Cage is like one that can actually be used in some capacity. Excellent. There's that. Oh, there's actually a couple of chests back here. There's our first relic. Some pallets. The pallets for this season are better than last season's, but the color schemes are still really weird for a season dedicated to Raiden. Because <laughs> Raiden's usually primarily blue and white, but a lot of the pallets are like brown and yellow mixed with green. And this one, these, this one at least has a lighter blue, but yeah, the colors are really weird. The colors were weird last season too, because like... There were there was a, a like a Christmassy green and red for Molina, which Molina's colors are like a pinkish purple and black. So some goofiness going on with the color scheme choices. It's a relic though. Taunting makes double. 
Double damage on the next attack. You will auto taunt after each combo. <laughs> Lose unless you taunt. Ever. Okay, this one sucks. Wait, but you can't. No, if you taunt after every combo, you would basically never lose, technically. Gain a random buff when you taunt. Gain super armor. I mean, it's not bad, but. I don't know. It's a little too. It just has too much going on. Uh, what do you even need for the requirements? Oh, you need to be level 7. Well, that's a good starting one. Um. Hey, level 1. Here's a level 7 relic. Oh, uh, this one needs a key as well? Oh, god damn. We already need 3,000 crowns, too. Just right off, right off rip. <laughs> So we're going to have to backtrack to this place. Give me one sec. Alright, there we go. Did he lose so much health? Oh, hey, what's up, Ryan? I did join the open chat because I wasn't sure if you were going to be busy or not, but it's up to you. Yeah, I'm trying to figure him out. Peacemaker was a lot easier to figure out right away. Ermac is a lot more confusing trying to figure out what opens up what without having to dedicate to meter burning that thing that grabs them though i thought it was oh it's witch slam Fight. <laughs> team nataris dude Alright, sounds good. I'll just be doing this. I'm gonna try to do the first three mesas like I usually do. Wins. Flawless victory. Oh, we, how did, we did not get a flawless. Did it actually credit me for a flawless? Oh, there's a new brutality. Oh, it actually did credit me for a flawless. Could have swore I got hit though. I mean, he's not bad so far. I just, I'm still trying to figure out, like, combo paths with him. It seems like you do have to dedicate to a lot of meter burning. We have a tower up ahead already. Fight. Oh, 
shit, you can actually do his anti-air from that? That's new. That's actually really quick, too. Okay, she's just gonna keep going for grabs. What's our new one? Oh, she switched to dark, of course, and now she's gonna do double damage to us. Well, that one's brutal. Brutality. Ermac wins. Just stands there menacingly. Should get a bunch of XP for this. Yeah, just report the fatal or the brutality. Dude, I I checked the box for not for kids. Fight. That is true. Mentally, you are only eight years old. Brutality. Oh yeah, but uh, I saw that you were continuing to play New Vegas last night. Did you get the whole thing set up for the Tales of Two Wasteland mod? Nice. I mean, yeah, I guess he, I mean, he can be re relative to Frankenstein in some ways. Oh, damn, that was a 200 damaging combo? Shit, that was only like a couple of hits. Janet, get over here. Yeah, we got the triple. <laughs> Janet's secret brutality, where she uppercuts three of his heads off. Yeah. He's more like a zombie Shang Tsung, I guess. <laughs> but that's just another MK character. Test your might. Let's just test your might. Dude, his like default stance in this game, how he's all like hunched over. It just looks like he's reanimated in this. So I actually kind of like that, that they did that. affects me shit yeah he immediately won that <laughs> he's he, he's the only one that's got the falling heads modifier so I couldn't even attack every time I tried to do anything I'd get immediately stunned well they definitely upped the difficulty of invasions mode we're gonna have to redo the entire tower god I couldn't even move 
Every time I try to do a combo, a falling head would immediately knock me out of it and do like a quarter damage. <laughs> Then again, invasions is always like that. It's not really your opponent, it's the modifier. Brutality. Ermac wins. Flawless victory. Too late. I had to find a combo route out of that. That's not what I wanted. Brutality. Ermac wins. Yeah, well, in the yeah, in the original timeline, Chang Sung created him, and in this timeline, Quan Chi did. Te well, technically, Quan Chi did. He probably had help from Shang Sung, but Shang Sung just wasn't present when he was made. Test your might. Like keep teleporting and getting out of the otherwise that's gonna happen. Got him. We see strength in your death. Brutality. Ermac wins. It's actually a decent palette. Alright, finally done with that tower. Dust in the wind. Um, I mean, that's probably something with Gearus. <laughs> Though, I don't know what. Could be a brutality or a fatality. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're not going to be dedicating a lot of playtime as gears. Oh, 
that actually helped him. Alright, what's a quick brutality we can do with him? It's over. Brutality. It always ends the same. Gearis wins. Red Frankenstein. I think I've seen the movie. Well, there's probably multiple movies. It must Excellent. just be a Gears brutality then. Switch back to Ermac here. Ermac. Guess we can give him one percent fire resistance. That should help us out a lot. Tara Palette and a new talisman. Oh my goodness. Don't know what that means. But we need to be invasion level five just to use it, so we can't even use it. Oh, so this must all circle back around then. Why would they give you a forge before a shop? I feel like the shop would be the thing you'd be at least able to use first, because you don't even have a talisman at this point, so it's weird that they had put the forge ahead of it. Like a talisman that you can use and actually upgrade. <laughs> That is Frankenstein's origin. level 5 I've got another tower already shit Kenshi isn't the last opponent with falling heads, because that'll really suck. Fight. Um, I mean, pretty much all of the hero characters live in Earthrealm, except for some. that one brutality we unlocked? I thought it was holding down. It is holding down. Oh, it's this grab one. Though. I did the other one. I mean, in this game, I, no one technically lives in Netherrealm. Uh, 
before Quan Chi came from the Nether Realm, but in this game he just comes from Outworld. And then Chaos Realm is Havoc. And then Dari. Well, Darius is Order Realm, I think. But Chaos Realm is. Well, there actually isn't a specific Chaos Realm this time around. Chaos Realm right now is just Order Realm, and Havoc is turning it into Chaos Realm, from what I understand. That could be more consistent with that. You could actually set up a really crazy combo. God damn it, these fireballs. Yep, classic. <laughs> That's the classic move for all cameos with, or for all opponents with Sector. Call in a rocket and then grab the player. Works every time. Brutality. Irma with. Oh shit, we got a super fight. Excellent. Oh shit. Secret fight with Cyber fight. Smoke. This is a skin that they need to add for just normal smoke. Oh, he opened up with a crazy combo, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Damn. Doing no damage to him. Really? God. What? Oh, come on. It's this damn dude. They really upped the difficulty of invasion mode. It went from being pretty easy to now actually you, 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 get, you can get fucked up pretty easily. Especially since you don't do like hardly any damage at this stage. And he just input reads. <laughs> the millisecond I let go of block, he's already hitting me with a spear. Test your might. Still needs to be a skin though. Excellent. Or they just make him a playable character. Yeah, I mean Outworld's pretty different in this game. It's more like a Adenia than it is Outworld this time around. But yeah, I mean, it still has where like it's still where all the monsters are, like the vampires and stuff like that. <laughs> Can't move. Stop hitting me in the shins. Another taunt.
Finally another invasion level. Gonna need these this time around, because the characters are hitting pretty hard. Then again, Smoke does have, um... He does have dark damage, which I take double damage from that as Ermac, so... That definitely didn't help. I picked, pressed the wrong button. Alright, well, we can go either one of these two ways now. Oh no, we have another Kung Lao time trial? Shit. I wonder what this one's gonna be like. Is it gonna be Hat Toss again? Survive. Destroy targets with Shell and Spin. I hate Shell and Spin's activation. These are actually easy. They give you a lot of time to do it. Kung Lao wins. Got a level up for him. Though I feel like when you get to like the fourth or fifth Met Mesa, they're actually gonna be ridiculous. Is this another clue? Hug it out? Could be Serena. She, her fatality. Serena. She literally gives them a hug, but guess we'll find out. Fight! I can teleport to jackass. Alright, what is the combo for it? Oh wait, it's not her fatality, it's her it's her brutality where she does it. So this might not work. Unless it doesn't matter what finisher you do. Guess we'll find out. Okay, it does. We're gonna have to redo that then. How close am I to this level up? <laughs> it's like an unsee it's unseeable spec. Yep, there we go, we got it. Excellent. Reiko skin. Consumable and a Molina palette. Well, Order Realm. I, I, I mean, I think the care. Oh, here we finally found a collector. The character endings are supposed to be canon this time around, so 
Order Realm is basically screwed now. It's like flooded. Wait, this, he just sells relics? Oh no, this is a consumable. I thought he was just selling all relics at first. What does this do? Quadru quintuple damage to vuln- oh. That only works on bosses, and it only works on like one hit basically. But, I'll be right back really quick. Alright, I'm back. Um, and for the Adenia thing, or Adenia, I guess you can pronounce it two different ways. Um, technically, Adenia is, it's, it's, it's technically the same thing as Outworld. The realms are merged. So whoever lives in Adenia technically lives in Outworld, but Adenia is specifically is like the royal parts of it. So it would most like, it would just mostly be Sindel, Katana, Melina in this case, Tanya, Lime. They'd be, I guess, like the more royal ones. I'm gonna see if we can find um, Ermax second fatality input because otherwise we have to reach like level 18 or 19 to unlock it
All right, should be back for back Y then. Hopefully. The opportunity. Oh, well, maybe the opportunity will come up now. Ambush. What the hell, War Mage? It's his Reiko that looks like Quanchi. So they actually added, like, the end game randomly generated characters to it. And he does dark damage, so that's great. Man, we barely do any damage to him. What the hell? It's gonna take a long time to beat him, if we beat him. Oh, he actually does have both moves, too. Wow, he recovers instantly from his skull shoot. No! Really? No! God, dude, they always get me when they're almost dead. And it keeps being consistent characters that I'm weak to. They actually, like, really, really made this a lot more difficult. It's like they tweaked the AI difficulty by, like, 30% at least. But, like I said, the thing that doesn't help is every time I fight, like, a secret fight or, a, an, or an ambush like that, it's always dark or energy, which is double damage to Ermac. <laughs> so it's like the game knows that people would be playing as Ermac. So they always make you go up against people that instantly kill them. And it just, it, it honestly feels like the AI input reading is tuned to where they are just responsive to your attacks. Right, let's see if we can just trigger his fatality. I've actually never seen this, because the only one they showed in the trailers was the first one. What the hell? What the heck? Oh, well, he just swallowed her soul. That was literally straight out of the mummy, almost. <laughs> when he sucks the life force out of him. It's like the mummy mixed with Soul Reaver. All of the realms. Um, Order Realm, Chaos Realm. Nether Realm, Earth Realm. There was another one that I'm just missing. Oh great, there is still survives. Survive. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we got it. I noticed that the wind screens are off center now, though. I don't know how they screwed that up. Unless they're intentionally off center now, which would be a weird choice. Fight. 
keep forgetting the combination. Oh wait, we have this one now too. We didn't do this. Final hit must come from behind you. What? How does that work? Oh, I think that's just the name of the move. That's it. actually his classic MK3 fatality. So that's pretty cool. I think the name is just behind you. <laughs> it's just the way it word it's worded. It sounds like they have to be behind you when you trigger the move. Nice, I like that one. That, that's a cool brutality. Right, we can actually open some of those chests now. I think that's why these pads are green again. Another relic. Yep, those are some Raiden colors if I've ever seen it. Blackout shade. Maximum meter is decreased by three while your attack while your meter is empty your special attacks deal double damage you spend health and oh, okay This is actually a good one because the double damage thing. That's the one I usually use But I need 10 health and 25 special just to equip it so we can't even do anything with that yet I Need to fast travel back to the shop though. We have enough for another key Now we can track down that last chest that's all the way in the beginning somewhere. Here it is. Consumable. Yeah, the pallets are just okay in this season so far. They just seem mostly like color swaps you would just have in the base game. Like nothing too special about them yet. Some of them are kind of cool with like the darker gray and glowing blue eyes. Oh, do we have another tower already? Oh no, this is the one we did. Okay, good. I was doing the mid-air kick. I don't know how he grabbed me in a jump form, basically. Finish him. There we go. What stop Omni Man and Peacemaker? I mean, Peacemaker is just a normal dude. It's actually a pretty long fatality in terms of how, like, it just seems to take a bit. I like it though, it is really cool. But yeah, it doesn't look like they added Omni-Man or Peacemaker to the invasion rotation though yet. Maybe they show up in like the gateway towers, but I don't think they show up as normal fights like Quan Chi does. Which makes me wonder if Ermac shows up as normal fights. 
That actually isn't a bad consumable. Uh oh, we're heading to the corrupted section of the forest. She's down. Yeah, I'm still trying to get the hang of that cancel, like, lunging knee attack. Wait, is it a different mod or the same mod, but just like a other version of it? All right, well, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later. Oh, it's a different mod. Fight! <laughs> Had to stand up. Of course, he's got to have dark damage. Messing this up. Fight. Oh no, I don't even get health back either. That's different. Wow, and she has energy. Yeah, it's the two things her mech is weak to. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, this is bad. Alright, well, he only needs half of a hit. It could even be chip damage, I'd still die. No. They purposely did that, man. They put all of the enemies that would do double damage to Ermac in the invasion season. And they knew people wanted to play as Ermac, so they just purposely made it really difficult for that. Fight. They have to just not really get hit by the first two people. I can't even cancel out of it. I'm in like the same boat. Whoa, why did he all of a sudden take so much damage? Is that other... Yeah, I think Omni-Man does have weaknesses, I just don't know what they are. Uh, I, I never read Brutality. the Invincible comics, uh, but I think the Viltrumites are supposed to have weaknesses. The show kind of hints at them, but they didn't fully explore that. But Peacemaker is just a normal human being. All, any any weakness a human has, he technically has. If you shoot him, he'll get shot. Maybe die from it.
Unless he's wearing a helmet that gives him like a shield barrier or something like that. One sec. What is that other thing? He had like a pop-up, but I'm not sure what's doing it. I wonder if it's just... It's not that. Like how he puts his feet where his hands are and his hands where his feet are. Another level up. I need to give him health. Just for when we fight opponents that mess us up. Because they always have our weakness. That's new. I know we unlocked some Ermac stuff already. Yeah, right here. In that. Janet Cage. Oh, this actually loops another tower. Yeah, Jason, MKX had a lot of really good DLC characters. It had Alien, Predator, Leatherface, Triborg, Bo Raicho, and Tanya. I think that's all of them. Well, and Jason, obviously. But Jason was really fun to use in that game. Um, Jason technically doesn't have any weaknesses, other, I, like, other than drowning him because he doesn't know how to swim, but he technically can't die depending on what Jason it is. Ooh, he's exploding corpses. Alright, well combos are not an option with those things. I guess, yeah, but even that doesn't technically defeat him for long. It stuns him for a little bit, but he comes back from that too. I think ice spikes are showing up right under our feet. It has some range on it. That's a good special move. In your death. Brutality. Ermac wins.
Test your might. Plant some wood. Excellent. Cameo on. Mix it up a bit. There we go, another tower done. Living Forest always has like five or six towers in it. Usually one of them has a key item though, and just in order to get out of the actual mesa. We haven't gotten one yet. Uh, I mean, bullets can kill an alien. Fire also makes them explode. Their blood is flammable. That was a decent combo. You can actually extend right into that without any meter. That's also a good one. Finish him. That distorted voice effect they have on it almost makes it sound like their soul is digital. It's very strange. Malfunctioning blood bot. Alright, so we're gonna need someone with blood. Is there someone with blood that I haven't reached max level with yet? Because that would be the best opportunity. No. Fuck. Well, I guess we can pick anyone then. But who would be... Uh, would I be able to perform a full health damaging combo though? I don't really know how to actually use a lot of these characters because I kind of just farmed their levels. Actually, wait a second. Is there a cameo with blood as well? Really? Out of all of the cameos this game has, not one of them does blood damage? Really utilizing those uh, element types, huh? Fight. All right, what do we got here? Oh, all right, we beat him in two hits. I didn't even need to know a combo. Wins. Flawless victory. Hmm. 
Well, that was a lot different than the first one. Ermac. Oh god, I need another key already? I don't even know if the shop rotated. I, I don't even think I can buy another one right now. Oh, okay, it did rotate. Now we just gotta find where that was. holding down that's the brutality but it did not trigger Is there another chest? Dude, I can't believe it. There's another chest here that requires a key. <laughs> this is starting to get insane. Oh, I can't even go that way without opening this either. That is weird. Or I have to just go all the way around maybe. Hopefully we're able to get thousand crowns yeah you can do a 10 hit with no meter combo with them that's actually pretty cool what's that first brutality we unlocked okay why x that's what it is this is gonna, yeah that's not gonna register though she jumped into it taunt i should actually equip those even though we probably wouldn't see them in invasions anyways because it's only one round fights yeah let's actually go look at some of our stuff for them how many does he have two cons oh he only has one concept art All right, let's see what we've all gotten so far. Got a new smoke palette. Yeah, that one's just like literally a palette swap that you would expect to be among his default palette swaps. What did we get for him? Yeah, same vein probably. Yeah. So 
That really doesn't look like it belonged to a season of evil Raiden. <laughs> Rico Pallet. I don't mind the glowing blue eyes that some of them have. It's the color scheme specifically that just looks weird on a lot of characters. See, I don't mind the dark gray color scheme though with the glowing blue eyes. That one actually doesn't look bad. Oh, weird. They actually get rid of his hood. This actually isn't that bad, though. I don't mind this one. This one's strange. If he had a different outfit that you could wear that with, that'd be pretty cool. The white doesn't. <laughs> the white's kind of Assassin's Creed esque. We're just going to keep him like this for now. Get a new Natara palette. New Baraka one as well. That's everything we've gotten up until this point. Oh, they actually added a chess opened counter now to each Mesa. 7 out of 11. That's nice. They should add they should add a counter for how many nodes you've completed too just to keep better track of them another time trial so I wonder if there's a character specific time trial in each Mesa and living force is specifically Kung Lao survive At least those are pretty easy still. Launchy, another tower. I think that tower is probably gonna have our key item though, because we we have to go this way. Even though it's not main path, I can't go the main path because we need to unlock something for it. Oh damn. He must be weak to energy. <laughs> So am I. I shouldn't even be talking. I 
finish him. gonna be a bit before I can get a thousand crowns again though predator weaknesses um I mean predators are super durable but I mean if you shoot them enough they would technically die um they also only seen thermal vision so I mean you can trick them with that though they have adapted to being able to fight even if they can't really see your heat signatures they're just really tough to beat but they are possible to beat I mean, in some of the, there's one movie where someone wins a katana fight with one. It was technically a tie, but he did kill it with a katana. So it's possible. Figure out what to do out of the air with him, though. What are, what are his other aerial combos? YBA. She eliminated herself. Uh, Leatherface is technically just a normal human. He doesn't have any super... In, in most cases, he doesn't have any supernatural elements to him, so... He should die pretty... It, like, if you can get a good clean shot on him, it should kill him. He's, he's gotten limbs cut off before with his own chainsaw. <laughs> He's gotten injured by his own chainsaw. Leatherface is just kind of like, he's like a slasher depending on the situation that makes, like, depending on the situation is what makes him powerful. I mean, he's technically just a normal dude. Well, not normal, but he's a human being. He's not like Jason where he's just kind of like a immortal zombie. Or Freddy who's like a nightmare demon. Still. Brutality. Ermac wins. Yeah, I don't think they give Leatherface any supernatural abilities in any of the movies. Test your might. I mean he seems he seems like a pretty strong normal normal stronger than normal human. Type dude, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger's weaknesses are up and down. Normally, he, as long as you're not scared of him, he has no power over you. But they've also contradicted that in plenty of the movies, where even if you're not scared of him, he can still manage to kill you. The other thing is too is you can technically pull him out of your dreams, and then he's technically mortal in the real world again. But Again, they've done that numerous times where they pulled him out of the dream world and then killed him in the real world, but he still comes back, so... He has weaknesses, but he never seems to fully stay dead or gone. That's kind of horror movie villains in general. When they should die, they somehow still go back.
finish you. Yep, there's our key item, so we can get out of the forest. Another invasion level up. Rishi Academy is now available, which is kind of weird because it's like the Terminator one. Uh, it depends. He's technically a horror villain in the first movie. <laughs> but then he's a good guy in pretty much every other one. Although, I mean, the first movie's not really a horror movie, I guess. He's just a villain in that movie. Fight! One we unlock. Does it just hold Y? Yeah. Keep holding it down instead. To the collective. I mean, they Brutality. they use a compactor to kill him in the first movie, so I guess a compactor is one of his weaknesses. <laughs> or lava. Another new taunt. Whoa, that's probably a crazy looking mask. The purple also looks pretty cool. Here's the chest we can't open. We do have enough coins for it now, though. This is the wrong shop. Should still have another key. Yeah, Joker... Again, Joker doesn't... He's not, like, superhuman or anything like that. He's basically, like, Batman. He's just technically a human being. So you, you, you can kill him in any, any conventional means. Skulls of Power. The basic Tanya palette. What does Skulls of Power do for us? With shocked expression, 125% damage. That doesn't tell me much. But we don't have anything else. Might as well equip it. Oh, we're getting ambushed. What are we fighting this time? Ambush. 
Uh, is that Raiden Scorpion? That's what our talisman does. We shoot a ball of lightning. <laughs> Hold still. Stop switching sides, you dick. Okay, you wasted all of my cameo time. Wait, he just explodes? What the hell? I mean, it, I guess it depends what version of Joker, but yeah, I mean, he usually just uses aliases. Well, we got a legendary consumable out of it. No XP. They give you no XP for that. That's great. <laughs> but we get permanent five health points. So that's good. We definitely need health for uh, Ermac. But here we go. We can get past our first gate here. Means wait, this is where the gate is. We didn't even fight the mini boss yet, though. But there is an electric portal up ahead. Weird. I wonder if they shortened the mesa by a lot. Right in there. Damn, I Finish did not her. think that would eliminate her. Oh yeah, there's actually a lot more fights in this area, though. But we're getting our cosmetic portal. From, like, other videos? I'll take the herbs. Ashra palette, don't really care for that. Uh, it probably it might depend on the comment. Cause uh, sometimes YouTube's weird sometimes with the way it censors certain things that are said. Like some people can say things in my chat that they can't say in one of my friends' chats for some reason. But I mean, I the, he's he said that they, he didn't change anything settings-wise. So I, I don't I don't know. YouTube's just weird sometimes. Got one of these kind of decent ones for Scorpion. Thank God we got a Shadow Booster, although I think it's, yeah, it's only 1%. <laughs> so we still take double damage regardless, technically. Inner Titan already. Those were uh, Gateway Tower rewards before, but these are character specific and I don't know who it's for. I'd have to check. Yeah, it probably is. I like my channel's bugged because I put timestamp chapters in all my videos, but it never actually separates the time 
bar at the bottom with the chapters like it does on other channels. It did work for like the first three months and then it just stopped working completely. Don't know why. See, this is for Scorpion, but I don't... I mean, I can keep it for now, but... I already have Scorpion maxed out, so I don't even need that technically. But here's our mini boss. We would not have the Empire undone. Then tell me what you know of Quan Chi. <laughs> It's a kind of decent katana palette. We should actually unlock that if we beat her. Wins. There we go. That mini boss was easier than the ambushes and secret fights we've had. Oh, here we These are where the other gates are. Cracked amulet required, which means we have to beat Raiden. See another chest beyond that area too. Fight! What the how did he land there? can do with that special like is it supposed to oh what's this oh is that when he highlights himself I didn't even know that was the full combination yeah I don't even know what the utility for shrieking souls really is That seems to be very point blank. Fight. away from her at Ermac first. Wins. Got so many of these opponents do dark Fight. damage though. Damn, 
damn it. The thing that sucks about getting hit by those is uh, that she just gains a bunch of health back. No, stop keeping me here. My brutality. Another invasion level up already. It's gonna require a key as well. It's already like 6,000 crowns worth of chests in this place. Then again, it did say there was 11, but I think the three from that portal, I think those probably count. Yeah. Gonna keep getting crushed by the ice walls at this raid. Belongs to us. Brutality. Ermac wins. All right, I think we unlocked his last brutality already. Soul escape. Oh, this is gonna be the shrieking souls move, though. It's gonna be a tough one to consistently land because that special move doesn't seem all that great. Another Kung Lao trial. We have to do this time. What other special moves does he have? Oh, we just have to use a... Oh, it's going to be a culmination of everything. Anyways, forward. I, I need another key. Actually, it's 9 o'clock now in my time, so he should have restocked his stuff. He, re he resets every hour, basically. So now we should be able to open that. Man, they don't want you to keep crowns in this mesa, though. Man, it's still crazy to think that this was the default run speed when it first came out. <laughs> like, that is so slow. <laughs> this should just always be the default. They shouldn't even have the other run speed anymore.
What is our new brutality? <laughs> Look how she grabbed me immediately and I just slid down. That is not the right move. Yeah, we're gonna reach max level with Ermag pretty quickly. <laughs> Test your Which might. sucks because in order to get XP for other characters, I'd basically want to switch. Otherwise, it's just a ton of wasted Next. XP. Because I wanted to play as Peacemaker more than I did as well, but because of the way Invasions is set up now, it's kind of just a waste. Like his only move. Finish him. Fatality. Ermac wins. Ooh, I think our main boss is coming up very soon. For this Mesa, at least. I still want to try out the new brutality, but they're dying so fast. Flawless victory. Yep, here's our living forest boss. Kung Lao. Kung Lao, Raiden's friend. More like Raiden's mentor. <laughs> Just starting with projectiles right away. Okay. Wait, what? This is just like the other one. That one's so annoying. Okay, I guess I can attack him. Hopefully he doesn't keep doing the hat thing. Because it's kind of a help drain if he does. Oh, great. So does the diagonal one just hit you no matter what?
Oh, you can block them, okay. soul all right well now we should be able to fight like Kung Lao in theory <laughs> Got that outfit and hat. Another new taunt. And that's it. Living Forest is done. Oh, they give you a new... That's, that's different. That's cool. Give you a new little animation for defeating the boss now. Well, we did all we could here, other than the gate area, but we have to beat the actual invasion for that. Tarkatan Colony. They're actually doing back-to-back -back bigger mesas, though I feel like this one's probably going to be the full size of the colony, because Living Force is a little bit smaller than it normally is. Not looking forward to the ramparts though. The ramparts is always really annoying. Oh, wait, we start with a shop immediately? Is it the key shop? Yes, it is. We might as well just buy two keys right away. I will be right back though.
All right, I'm back. Guess we start with the right side right away. Fight! Well, those bracers actually look really cool with that outfit. That actually requires two meter for that. Finish him. This actually leads to a chest right away, so it's a good thing I bought those keys. Fight! God damn it. Still haven't seen our new brutality yet. Brutality. Ermac wins. That was one thing I wanted to check though. We have a weekly for 10,000 pints of blood, which I absolutely hate this one just because of how long it takes. Yeah, out of a whole entire mesa, 5,000, halfway, that's better than I thought. Farming this one after you don't have mesas to go through sucks. I'm glad they started with it this time because usually weeklies don't repeat, at least this one. 25 fatal blows is the other annoying one though. That one takes a while. Definitely see. Kill them, son of a bitch. Fatality. So, would that actually defeat Gyrus, though? Or would he be able to rewind and get his soul back? Same thing with Havoc, would he be able to regen from that? Uh oh, dark oh dark proximity. Well, at least that wasn't doing any damage. If that was damage over time for us, we would have been screwed. Actually, if I get my special to 25, we might be able to equip that one relic now. Yeah. Yep, thank god I had a key. Plasma booster. Actually, that's actually a good thing for Ermax. So now we're 95% weak to energy instead of 100. <laughs> Not a big difference. But if we can keep getting those. Fight! 
Yes, okay, I was wondering if that would work. That's actually a good utility for having Cat and Janet Cage with us then. Let me try this new brutality out, you dick. <laughs> you can't just block it forever. No, and it didn't even do the right move. What the hell? I don't think we're ever going to see what that one looks like. I hit back forward A twice, and he just kept trying to do down... No, he kept trying to do down back A for some reason. I never was hitting down, though. He was working consistently until he was almost... Well, until he was one hit away from dying. <laughs> God damn it. Oh great, we start with the tower right away here too. Fight! Yep, of course the exploding heads kill him. God damn it, dude. Toxic booster. Alright, hopefully we can get this goddamn brutality. Fight. I see that bug only for me. Why does it keep doing the wrong special move? Yeah, it's back. I'm doing back forward A, but he keeps trying to do sweeps. There we go, finally. Oh, that one's actually kind of cool, too. I like how you can just see the soul leaving. There should be an alternate, like, secret version, though, where you can suck the soul in, kind of like the fatality. But yeah, it's weird. I do back forward A, and he sometimes just does, like, a ground, like, a low A or something. It's weird. Because I'm not hitting down. But he keeps trying to do ducking attack. Fight. So it just is down. A. Yeah, he just does like down A for some reason. Finish him. Yeah. Let's see what his normal outro is. Actually, we've seen that before from the survive. Test your might. Nana. Excellent. I like how the music just immediately cuts out. He's got dark meteor, that's bad for us. Oh, never mind, we killed him. 
Hopefully Three meteors aren't as powerful as they were Three. pretty much every other season. Because meteors could be like one hit kills and almost impossible to avoid. Another mask. Rank 13 with Ermac already. Well, that's actually gonna be a clue one. I can see the barricade from here. So far back that time. We are forged from agony and pain. Brutality. Ermac wins. Lightning bug's just gonna follow him. Oh no, they're following both of us. Oh, this isn't good. She's got dark ability. Oh, why did that whiff? <laughs> that is the combo. I don't even know what just happened. I mean, Robocop, you can blow him up, and you can dismantle him. It's been done to him in the movies at times, but if you don't destroy his brain, they can just rebuild him. So, I mean, if you dismantle him and destroy his brain, then you've, you've defeated him. There's like a really heavy caliber sniper rifle in those movies that can blow off his body parts pretty easily, so just gotta get one of those. Jesus. I don't think Kratos has any weaknesses, to be honest. He doesn't, I mean, he can, he can technically be knocked out, but I don't know if you can actually fully kill him. Oh, 
electricity floating heads now. Brutality. Ermac wins. Oh, Natara time trials? What are they going to have you do with her? Air dashes? Survive. I don't get it. Do these saw blades move? Oh, you have to make it to the end. Oh, shit. Okay. How do you air dash? Oh, you have to time it correctly. It's so weird that they're off center. Dark again. Try smoke this time, though. Smoke. Fighting Fight. another cyber smoke, technically. <laughs> Shit. You lose. I don't think smoke's physical attacks do dark damage, unfortunately. What are Fight. what does he have a special move that just keeps them suspended though? I'm gonna need a combo into something basically. You lose. I never really use smoke all that much. I don't know what to cancel. Like, what cancels Fight. into what after what that'll allow me to. Huh. You lose. That doesn't even let you combo. He was right about to continue it and he just blew up before he even hit the ground. Fight. That's about half you damage. Lose. I need to find something to cancel into, though. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to switch to someone else who has something easier. Fight. Oh, come on. That would work. You I just need lose. to know an air combo for him. Possibly. That still didn't Fight. actually do that much damage. X, X, Y. <laughs> Damn, you that's not lose. what I wanted. Fight. What did I lead with then? Oh, that's why. Right. That's not what I did. <laughs> I hit the first two buttons and then tried canceling into special, but he just kept doing the combo. <laughs> There we go. Smoke wins. Ermac. You asked for it. That's probably going to be something with General Shao. You can actually see his new uh, deception skin in action. Then.
stay in these tornadoes. Brutality. I don't know what ails you. Wins. Yep. Excellent. That was our that was our clue there. One of these sodas. Probably just sell that one. Another ambush. What wacky character are we fighting now? Ambush. Shang Raiden. Oh, that's right. You, for some reason, you can't do brutality to those guys anymore. Oh, yeah. I've never, never played the expanse. The expanse one. More legendary herbs. Though, I'll always take those. Although I think these were for agility, which is probably the most useless stat. <laughs> quick. Cassie, you did nothing. Not Cassie. I always call her Cassie, even though it's Janet. Brutality. Ermac wins. That was fast. Double special damage comes in handy.
be blocked that when he was frozen. Get away from all the ice. Brutality. Ermac wins. actually see another chest over there. That move, though, I thought she was supposed to continue it. Oh, is it hop skip? Oh, no, it works for both. Okay. Brutality. Ermac wins. Here's my last key. New talisman. Tenchi pallet. What does this talisman do? Ten punches a day keeps the doctor away. I think it just gives us the ability to heal on attack. Ermac wins. Combat card thing for Ermac. I mean, I, damn it, I want to keep playing as him, but I also need XP for a bunch of people, so 
Once we reach 20, we're probably going to switch to someone I still need to level up. Fight! He stood up at the worst time. Oh, this is our key item already? What the hell? Either they really drastically shorten Tarkan Colony, or they give you the key item really quickly. The only thing up here now is this locked chest. Well, that's the last key he's got until like 13 minutes from now. they just added more chests for just some of the more common pallets because but last se that's not the way I wanted to go last season they had the seasonal tower hit 90 for some reason and it just had a bunch of pointless pallets for a lot of the levels I hope they didn't do that again because that would really suck because nobody likes the seasonal tower that much to do it 60 times <laughs> I mean there are people who do it obviously but that's just that is an insane grind. Fight. Like, I don't think they should treat the seasonal power as the main invasion grind. Just something you can do for fun. a combo. Fight! 
resilient to whatever he's damage I'm doing, chaos. your might this but yeah that key There's item had to have been early on because there should also be a ton of trials for uh natara left Excellent. oh yeah we have a tower up ahead Ermac wins. Tower that you actually- oh no, homing dark ball, that's bad. This is actually a tower you have to do. A lot of the towers are sometimes optional. I just do them because you get your invasion level up faster, and you get a, you get a good amount of character XP from it now. And well, Fight. for the first time you do it. Oh, that suspends them in the air for a long time. Oh, but they're on his side. They only affect me. That's great. Damn 
brutality. Ermac wins. Test your might. Mal's head. Excellent. Heads are hitting me out of my shit. What's the other? Oh wait, he actually should have one more brutality then. Yeah, I think there's another one at level 15. Brutality. Ermac wins. Which we're very close to now. Got the Order of Darkness palette on right now. Oh shit, is he gonna be like Omni Man? Or, uh. Yeah, Omni Man, right? Where he just has one less brutality than he should? That would be really unfortunate. You can actually easily find out, because now we should be able to see the rest of his mastery track. I have new icons apparently though. It was just that one. Oh no, he does. Oh, he gets it at 18. I wonder if it's. Is it always 18? Maybe I'm just misremembering. I can actually check that too though. Level 18? Oh no, it is normally 18. Yeah, Omni Man just didn't have one at 18 for some reason. Alright, so we still have one more to look forward to.
Invasion level 10. affects both of us. Damn it, I don't have another key. Instead of her doing nut punch, but whatever. We can't open that, though. Collector should have restocked. All right, now what do we got to do? Air dashes in Survive. quick haste. Okay. No, oh, goddamn it. Oh, we're gonna have to duck there. <laughs> Every no! That was a mistake. No, what the hell? It wouldn't even let me dash. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I wonder if it. Oh, I wonder if we just lead. Let me, can I just retry? For, no, I'm gonna just try and retry. Give me coins for that. Survive. Oh, no, even quick dash doesn't just make it. God. This is gonna be tough. Yeah, what the hell? Shit. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Um, not really sure what happened there. How would you do this one? You lose. Three quick dashes and a speed dash won't get you there fast enough. I, I, to be fair, when I did the speed dash after the three quick dashes, it, it I got hit by so nothing I and just died. <laughs> Like there, I didn't even get hit by that blade. It's the inconsistency in the distance she travels that makes this really annoying. Cause I just cleared that before, now I can't. I wish there was just a retry button. Cause we're not gonna make it this time. I couldn't even move. I 
I landed where I where if I stood up I'd get hit by the blade somehow. This one's really tough. It requires extreme precision. You can't make like a one centimeter mistake. It's just all over. And that ending phase is ridiculous. I don't know if you'd have to land all four quick so dashes high. or if you're supposed to do the speed dash like it wants you to do. God, dude. Everything's the perfect distance. I can't even do my quick taste and make it to a safe spot. Yeah, that was max distance I could go. Not enough. There we go. That is tough. That is really tough. Starting to make it crazier and giving you less time. And they're just gonna, oh, are they gonna add more moves to it with more saw blades? Cause that's gonna be, that's gonna be insane. Oh great, now we have an energy bot. Johnny Cage would probably be our best, but not many people do energy damage in this game. Ooh, actually, Peace maybe maker. it wouldn't be bad. I can kind of keep them still with Serena. I also have to remember my combo for Peacemaker. What's the headbutt again? Okay. That is the combo, but it ends it before Eagle even can hit them, which is weird because that's not normal. Oh, I clipped right through his body. Don't cancel into my special move at all. Fight. What? When you, if you, did they patch it where if you lead with a cameo, you can't cancel out of headbutt? If they did, that's really stupid. Cause I'm, I mean, I'm hitting inputs. It's just not, not doing anything. No, that time I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I wanted to do cameo, not grab. But yeah, weird. It won't let me continue Fight. off of a Serena combo. There we go. Oh, come on. I only needed one more hit, and I literally punched him right at the end, and it clipped right through his body, and then he just self-destructed. I think they ha I think they have to tweak this where they can't blow up, but no. Almost just wrong button again. Yeah, I can't even continue that anymore. I wonder if they switched his timings around. Because after Eagly, you're normally able to land a quick punch, but now it just clips right through them. I couldn't even land it. I couldn't even land a dude. They must have updated Peacemaker to where after Eagly, you just can't do anything anymore. Which is weird, because you have more than enough time. Because I am literally clipping through their body on the attack. How is that not enough? Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to do like an x-ray combo on this guy. The damage scaling is so severe that after like the 10th hit, it just doesn't let you do anything. Yeah, what the hell, man? You 
loot. I'm gonna need like a 30 hit combo just to kill this guy. Shit. What would I do against that? The damage scaling becomes way too severe at the end there. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know if I can use Peacemaker then. I don't know. No, wait. That. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this actually. Frost. That damage scaling fall off is insane. You do like a shit ton of damage and then you all of a sudden only do one HP of damage. It's a combo trial, but doing high combos actually penalizes you. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? You lose. You, they, they tweak this to where you pretty much have to be like top of the line combo master in order to even beat this one. Fight! First three hits do about half damage, but the next seven hits do like not even a quarter. It's really fucked. Fight. I don't know if you can actually do this. Oh, great, yeah, that's right. Just ends the combo instead. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one. The damage, the damage scaling fall off is way too strict. <laughs> just did back forward X three times. <laughs> you just stood there and did nothing. You didn't even cancel out into a single punch or anything. That's not gonna work. I don't know if we can use Peacemaker. That's like my massive combo setup for him, and it does not work for this. We're gonna have to probably use Johnny Cage then. I wonder if they've designed these based off of certain character Johnny usage. Cage. So if you're not that specific character, you, you're just screwed. Because that's a good combo for Peacemaker, and it's it does not even get, come close to cutting it. The problem is, is I'm not like an avid Johnny Cage player, so I don't really know a large combo with him either. It's going to take a lot of explosions for me to remember what works with him. Fight. Like how they're like, use the elemental type damage to really get them, but it's like, okay, I'm doing exactly that, and it's literally not enough. <laughs> it's not even close to enough. I thought it was back forward B for his kick. Is that not... Is that not right? No, that is right. They just decided not to work. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, yeah, I, you, I could have swore you could cancel into his dash kick. But now he just goes into a full overhead forward B instead. I don't know what's going on. This is, this is ridiculous. Holy shit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use Johnny Cage either. It, it, the damage, once you get them 50%, you can't do any damage to them anymore. They just don't take any. These are apparently energy co Is this thing weak to energy? I thought that's what it said, but it seems very resilient to energy. <laughs> that's not gonna work. That just you launches lose. them away from me. Yeah, if we can't use Johnny Cage or Peacemaker, we can't use anybody. Because they're the only ones that really have energy. That's not going to work, because their damage scaling fall off is so severe that you can't, you can't do anything. Brutality. That's you not lose. what I wanted to do. His nut punch launches, right? Fight. At least I thought it did, but... Brutality. Can't cancel you into it, lose. though. No, it actually does not launch. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this one. I don't know the combo routes that would be required for this. The biggest combo I know for Peacemaker 
it after the 13th hit they're still halfway they still have half health which is insane <laughs> Like, that's insane for an energy weak character to have that much of a damage resistance from energy at that point. Like, that's a that's a huge damage nerf for some reason. It's, it's fucked. Okay. Kind of just clip right through him on that. He has a launching kick, right? Isn't it back A? Fight! Dude, there is nothing you can do. I I was in the middle of a combo and it blew me up. It just canceled it and did an instant explosion. Again, I'm in the middle of punching him and it just blows me up. It's just ending my combo before he hits the ground. They gotta tweak that. I think they have a they they have too large of a hitbox. No! Oh man. This it's just it's aggressive. I would much they actually managed to make something worse than the survives. And there still are survives, but these are much worse than survive. Yeah, I don't know. You lose. How much health do it wait, I'm doing 590 damage. The last time I did one of these, the bot had 250 health. What the hell does this thing have? Fight! Eight, you have to do an 850 damaging energy combo? What is this one called? <laughs> That's insane. 850 damage? That's nuts. That's like an x-ray corner only combo type damage. Malfunctioning Enerbot? I'm, like, I'm just gonna see if there's like a community topic about this one. There's one for the dark bot that we fought, but that one's actually really easy. This this energy bot is unbeatable. Yeah, there's nothing on this one. I honestly have no I, I have no clue how you would do this. No clue how you would do this. How much health does Peacemaker have? Ten, okay. Peacemaker. One thing we can also try is to just give him double special damage, see if that does anything. Also technically gives me infinite meter. That's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. <laughs> the double special damage might save us here. Fight. There we go. Finally. You basically need to have double special damage just to pull that off. Otherwise, your specials don't do nearly enough damage. And some of these you might, you'd probably have to hit like invasion level 30 and then come back, but that'd be kind of like a first. Because there's not many other nodes that, are, that do that to you. Um, I'm not looking forward to the future ones of those. Oh, and this it just all led to another locked chest? Son of a bitch. I already need two keys. Um, we had a forge somewhere over there, yeah.
Yeah, that one was nuts. That was a huge difficulty spike over the other ones. The guy on the combat cast said that there's one that's insanely challenging, and I'm not looking forward to that. Ooh, another new Quan Chi palette. He had a few in the previous season. Bloodline? I don't even- oh, I do have a carry capacity for it now. So that's all that was blocked off from there. Some kind of a basic looking Molina, Molina palette. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to those. I'd rather do survives, especially since you can just turn on the shield with Peacemaker. Those makes like all survives really easy air time. Hmm. Air time? I mean, I'm thinking maybe Sindel. I, I don't know though. Let's see if anybody else has figured it out so I can know for sure. Like how you search it, it's like season five clues. All right, seven months ago. <laughs> Living Forest. Huh. I think it's too early on. I don't think anyone's figured this one out yet. Airtime. So it could just be like jumping, but See what do we got? I guess it might it might be linked to how many air combos you do in a match. Though the number isn't exactly known if it if that is what actually triggers it. Fight. It's not a definitive answer yet. What are some of his air combos again? die before I even finish it. Well, we'll have to see if that works. Yeah, that did work. I did three, so maybe that's how many you have to do. Excellent. I 
I should have sold those when I was at the shop. It's actually one of the more unique skins, finally. Slippy Relic? What does that do? Twenty-five percent. Okay, <laughs> it's a pretty basic one. I don't know why that one would be considered rare. Fight! Fight! So when you would charge it, it would go further. Fight. How did that not trigger the brutality if it was an instant one shot? That doesn't make any sense. Oh wow. Wait. Oh, we beat the weekly quest. I was wondering why we got that Raiden palette. That one actually looks kind of cool. I was going to say, did we get that from the Endurance? But no. Weekly, weekly quests. Oh, is this our mini boss? Yes, it is. Oh god, of course it's a Reiko. I think uh, have our uh, Reiko's at least weak to uh, chaos. <laughs> Just gonna keep doing that. Brutality, Irma, with my mini boss is dead. Got some stuff for Reiko. Hopefully there's another shop coming up. It's my consumable slot. Oh, right. Perfect timing. Just sell one of these.
brutality. Irma, you got wins. caged. That'll get the job done. Yeah, that's the funny thing about the double special move relic thing is the way they did it this time is kind of like how they did it in season one and two. You basically have infinite meter. You just have to sacrifice health to do meter burning. But it just opens up even bigger combos. Oh no, not another, not another goddamn robot. This one might not be that bad because I at least, I, I do know a decent combo with Sub-Zero. Be hot. Frost. And if we just go all in on Spy, I need at least 10 health, so we should be good with that. We do this, and then get that one relic. We should do a lot of ice damage. This one's also on the critical path, so they're probably going to be a little bit more lenient with it. Fight. All right, what's the, the, the combo that I... I think it's YX. Okay, what is happening? You lose. If this thing's weak to ice, why the hell is it so resilient to ice? <laughs> like, 8 hit combo did Fight. nothing to this thing. 925? You lose. Or is it... Is it weak to fire if it's an ice bot? That might, that might be what it is. That's, I keep pressing the wrong button. I think we have to use someone with fire. I think that's how this works. So with, I don't even know what the opposite of energy would be. Fight. Hmm. What is the uh, overhead you move again? Lose. Is it back Y? Or back 2, I guess? That's what I need to figure out. Fight. Yeah. Brutality. Damn it. You Dude, lose. just trying to learn the one move is more than enough time for him to blow himself up. I might have to use someone with fire, though. Fight. No, God damn it, I keep hitting the you wrong lose. button. I don't want to use Ice Ball. Fight. I also you didn't I wanted to amplify that. So one thing I hate about this whole robot thing is just like it just the load screens Fight. you have to constantly keep going through. Yeah, we clearly can't use someone with ice. There's just no way. That's with that's with like 50 plus special stat and double special damage. Uh no. Yeah, what's what's the yeah, I get that they want you the fire thing makes sense. I, I do get that now that I'm thinking about it, but the thing I don't get is what would be the opposite of energy? Chaos? Why the eye? It's kind of Indescript. Unless it's acid. No, it's not even listed that way, though. I was thinking maybe the one on the opposite side is what it's opposite of? That wouldn't make sense. I farm Scorpion's levels, but I don't actually really know how to use him. Fight. I forgot he's got a he's got a good pop up, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, that's something you can do. There we go. Yeah, we just had to use fire. Wins. Flawless victory.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to just figure out what the opposite stuff is. Like, what would be the opposite of dark? There's no light damage in this game. So maybe the opposite of the weakness to dark, I don't even know. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what's weird about the way they did this. Maybe it's electric? I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, great. Put the Nataro 3 trial in the critical path as well. Survive. Okay, that didn't move. Oh shit, I didn't even see it at first. Alright, that one was way easier than the second one. What the hell? Yeah, you know, why is Trial 3 harder than Trial 2? Or, Trial 2 harder than Trial 3, I mean. Man, they're just putting all mini games over here. Test your might. Finally a fight. Of course it's gotta be Natara though, which is kind of annoying to fight sometimes, because she just air dashes all the time. Fight. See? Speaking of which. Oh wow, I am very surprised that that killed her. Fatality, Ermac wins. It's spec away from level 16. Got a new invasion level though. to cancel. Sixteen there, we got his name. <laughs> oh, this is where the uh cracked amulet gate is. Here's our cosmetic portal. I wish these could sometimes give you keys so you didn't have to buy them. That'd be convenient. Sun palette. Green 
herbs and a rain pallet. Ice booster. It's only 1%, doesn't really matter who I use it on. Havoc skin. Another inner titan. Who's this one for? Liu Kang. Oh, the cleaver does not, doesn't do nearly as much damage as last season. Finish him. Oh, it does to him, though. Got another clue. Um, one word. Um, shit, I don't even know. these are making. <laughs> Is that what it is? It's double dragon. Okay. That one's a tricky one. Protector of Earth Realm. I wonder what finisher that would be. Or if it doesn't matter, it just has to be. Either one of his fatalities or one of his brutalities. Fight! Sometimes they have something direct. Yeah, he's got a fatality directly called Double Dragon.
Fatality. Liu Kang wins. That should do it. Excellent. Ermac. I always forget that the fights also sometimes give you a clue. So like Liu Kang and Katana. Sometimes it, even if it's like a mirror match type clue or the character you're supposed to use is the opponent. Didn't even bump the table there. It's a pretty decent Scorpion Palette, Li Mei Palette, and Shock Seeker's Talisman. What does that one do? Oh, it just gives you more projectiles. Without a damage percentage increase, it probably doesn't really do anything. <laughs> it's usually never do. Unless it's like the typical powerful ones like Windbreaker. That's not really the same type of projectile. Which is stopped after the second one. I'm surprised how much damage I do sometimes. Like, I never expect it. Ermac wins. Our cotton colony is still huge, though. We do not have a key. This is not our key salesman. At least this chest is right by a forge. Friend zone relic. Liu Kang palette. Cameo damage increased by 100%. Unlimited cameo meter, but you do 50% less damage. Hmm, I don't know. Is double cameo damage even that high to be like? Is are there is their base damage even really ever that high to begin with? That might not be worth it. with that. 
Fatality. Ermac wins. That was a quick fight, though. Sindel must be weak to chaos. Oh shit, here's our gate. We might actually be getting out of the Tarkan colony right here. Yeah, here's our boss. God damn it. Reiko, then an Atara. The devs know. They know exactly what enemies are really annoying to fight. If you're using, like, anybody else, Natara and Rekar are so resilient to most damage types in this game. Luckily, Ermac does I, chaos I'm damage. The one who killed her. Oh, they actually gave her a different version of her Order of Darkness palette this time. That's cool. Fight. Those are unblockable. Can't trick her out with the teleporting, though. Oh, great. Here we go. I'm not even sure what that does. God, this is all blood too, so it's like, she, even though she's got- Oh, there's a blood vortex? You'll be kidding me, dude. <laughs> Come on, how long does this go for? How the- if she can cancel out of that with a grab, you're gonna kill me. Yeah, we're probably gonna lose simply because she's blood. I would need like a healing talisman or something. She's definitely gonna do the projectile shit on the third phase as well. Thank God she didn't do the projectile thing again. That is a pretty awesome Natara palette. But, oh, that's the mask you get for him at 17. I wonder if the skull moves. Or if it's just a static image. If it's a static image, it wouldn't nearly be as cool. Yo, though, second Mesa's done. Sundo Festival. This is usually a smaller map, so I'm, I mean, at least I'm hoping it is. It's nice when they mix it up a bit and they're not all just massive maps. But this is technically going to be our last Mesa for this stream, and then we're going to try to pick it back up on Thursday and hopefully take down Evil Raiden. Though we're might, we might not be playing as Ermac that much longer because we're almost level 20 with him. And if I don't want all the XP to go to waste on characters I still have to level up, I, I basically have to switch just because how the new XP system handles it, which is kind of annoying. I wish you could just still farm XP because you could just play as whoever you want then, anytime. Fight. Without being 
basically forced to use other characters if you want XP. Damage scaling on the other one tripped me out. I didn't think I was doing that much damage. He just walked out of it, though. Does he have other air moves? Or is it just the slam down? Yeah, he doesn't have any other air specials other than that one, I think. Wait, Death's Release? What the hell is that? Oh, Death's Release. What does that do, though? No, I don't want to start these. Incoming damage depletes super meter before health. Oh. Well, that's bad for the relic we're using. <laughs> I was wondering why he wasn't turning green anymore. It's because we never have meter. Wins. That's still. Brutality. You know what's Ermac messed wins. up? He doesn't have a line where he says, we are many, you are but one, for a brutality pose. How the hell did they not do that? Unless he does say it, I just missed it, or didn't catch it. But I think I've only been hearing him say other stuff. Victory. Wonder if I got a flawless block then. Yeah, I must have because I blocked one of her attacks. Let's just buy all of his keys, I guess. Fight. 
Brutality. Ermac wins. Alright, so this is the opposite direction. Oh, it's a good thing I bought a key. Or three keys in this case, I guess. Starter pack? Another gears palette? What does starter pack do? Start with one hit of super armor. Start the fight with your meter full. I, I mean, this is actually not a bad one. For not having any downsides. It, le it at least is, like, decent. Last season, a lot of the non- Negative ones didn't really do too much. <laughs> they did have some interesting ones though, like fight timer reduction and stuff, and then they also had uh, damage reflection and just overall more damage. Those ones are nice. Yeah, now that we're Ermac, though, fighting Reiko isn't that big of a deal. Normally he is, because Fight. nobody does chaos damage except for pretty much havoc. Say now he's strangely resilient, but he just immediately died. Brutality. Ermac wins. Another invasion level up, very nice. Oh god, that's right though. I'm not looking for the I'm not looking forward to the malfunctioning bot or character trial for this maze. <laughs> well, the character trial maybe. I don't know. The, the two of the Nataro ones weren't that bad. Both malfunctioning bots are kind of annoying. Though. Every time I try to do one thing, got a counter at the ready. Brutality, Ermac wins. Just delaying the inevitable. Well, we almost have our last brutality for Ermac unlocked. Oh shit, there's a tower here. XY lead anywhere else? Oh, XY, Y, or XY, A, okay. Oh, that's... Okay, that's... Oh, 
shit, I didn't expect that to kill him. Okay. Did forward back forward. I don't know why she came out with a nut punch. Pretty sure that's her cameo fatality. I've done it numerous times now. They have falling heads as well, so I had to take that fireball. Yeah, it's gonna keep choosing me at the perfect time. I got hit by everything right there. Okay, come on, fireball. Pick a side of the screen where you can hit my opponent. <laughs> affects both of us, but it's only going for me. We see strength in your death. Brutality. Ermac wins. Uh-oh. It's going to be smoke again. No, it's Scorpion Fight. Baraka. Oh, you can combo that, nice. It sucks that like you can't do brutalities to these guys. Or any finisher at all. Oh, I didn't even get anything from beating him. Unless it also reserves that till the end of the tower. Test your might. Excellent. Fight. Brutality. Ermac wins. There we go. We got our last brutality. We win. I wonder what that's going to be. Like what move it's going to use. So we got a blood booster, 5%. I will be right back, though.
All right, I'm back. Let's continue the fight here. Well, I haven't seen a character trial or malfunctioning robot just yet. about her new brutality <laughs> brutality Ermac didn't even wins. look at what it required it's actually looped us back to the primary path oh not not fully oh no malfunctioning ice spot well, at least we know what to do against ice this time. Keeper of time. I'm gonna use Liu Kang though this time. Fight! Oh. Just those two hits. I was gonna continue that, but I was like, oh, I don't even I don't even have to. That immediately killed it. Man, if they all go like that, then I hope the survives never come back. Well, more survives never come back. Cause that was one millisecond. Bush. What weird random generated uh, rain raiden? Oh, we're doing like no damage. Here. It's doing a lot to us. Then. do for our new one. We win. Oh, that's right. You can't do brutalities with these guys. God damn it. Wins. Mixed herbs? Damn, I'll take that. That's a permanent stat increase for everything. I think two for each one. Actually, wait, I think Legendary is still... What is it? Oh, it is two, okay. I wasn't sure if Legendary was actually three or five. Wait, what the hell is next to me? We must have to go all the way around for that.
fight. What the hell? <laughs> I think that's another callback, but I wins. Is that how is that oh fuck, why am I if that's so familiar, is that an MK9? I wonder if that's an MK9 or Mac Vitality, but I don't remember. Cause I know other than Jack stomping on someone from going huge, I know someone had a shrinking stomp of brute or fatality, but was it actually I don't remember if it was Ermac or not. That's funny, though. That's a cool brutality. I like that one. These both lead down our primary path, technically. There's a clue up ahead. Knife to meet you. Um, well that, dude, that could be so many different things, but the only, the main one I'm thinking Kano. of is Kano. Which means we either have to do a fatality with him or a brutality. And since his fatality is a heart rip, I'd wager we just do any one of his fatality or brutalities. But this might not even be right. That's not what I wanted. I was just trying to do a sweep. We can try the fatality now, though, I guess. And I did one of Ermax. God damn it. I mean, the clue could also want... Oh, but we have to fight... General Xiao and Serena. So it could also be Reiko. But the... The brutality could... Or the clue could also be referencing his knife toss. We might have to do his knife toss a numerous amount of times. 
Fight. Which I don't even. Is it just forward RB? No, it's back RB. See if we can knife to meet you. Okay. Literally the name of the second brutality, though it probably doesn't matter which one we do. Because normally it doesn't, because they they don't expect people to have the cameos leveled up all the way. I just want to get him further away. Yep. That's why. I I hate doing the projectile based brutalities for cameos. It never does enough damage. Or oh, that shit happens. They perfectly duck it. And then, because usually they're jump distance away too, which is basically full screen in MK1. So if they just take a couple of steps inwards, they dodge it. Oh wow, and it, it's hold down, right? Yeah. It didn't even work. It didn't even work. This fatality doesn't work. Weird. Kano's fatality doesn't work either. Unless by mid they mean full screen for Kano. Well, God damn it. We're going to be stuck on this for a while. Considering Kano's stuff just doesn't like triggering. Unless they did the same thing they did with... um. Oh. Alright, maybe it does just rely on his knife toss then, because we did not do a finisher. Janet Cage. But they messed up one of Raiden's brutality prompts where they say hold up, but you actually have to tap up three times. So maybe it's not hold down, maybe it's something else. Herbal tea, pretty decent scorpion palette I guess. I could just sell that, that doesn't really matter. The funniest thing about that brutality is instead of just running away, they run towards him. Why does he have that power? <laughs> oh shit. Here's the first time trial. Wait, this is where the first one is? What the hell? How big is Sundo this time around? Use falling fangs to dodge acid balls. Destroy the targets. Survive. Well, that's not working. Oh, okay, that's fine. You lose. Didn't know this all air attacks. Survive. Oh my god. Well, he takes a lot of damage from his own element type. I don't even, didn't even have a second on that. Survive. How would I? You lose. That leads me right into it. Well, this one's going to be annoying. You basically would have to dodge them at the very Survive. last second. Yeah. 
lose. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. I basically can't hit the targets. Cause if I hit the targets, I get hit by the balls, and if I dodge the balls, I don't hit the targets. Survive. You lose. God, God damn it, dude. I think hitting the gold ones with an amplified attack gets rid of like the whole group of ones. Yeah. God damn it. Actually, no, it doesn't. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one. It's it's it, they cut it way too close with dodging the acid. <laughs> damn, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah, these are gonna be annoying if they keep doing them in certain- It depends on the way they do them. I'm trying! I did down back forward- or down back B th two different times in that jump and it, it just, just wouldn't trigger. <laughs> Survive. God, it, it's the- it's the, um... There's a target all the way on the right. I don't know if you can do this. How how would you get all the way to the right? You would be right on the spawn Divide. point of the ball acid balls. <laughs> you just die instantly every time. God damn it. It's all of the input delay. Like oh, Jesus Christ. They expect you to do it one after the other, but you can't Divide. jump in time. If you dodge the first set of ice acid balls, you're stuck until the next set comes through. <laughs> Yeah, son of a bitch. So you gotta hit th a total of three different inputs in a millisecond. It's just not set up to be possible. I'm trying. Yep, right on the spawn point. I already knew that was gonna be a problem. <laughs> God, these are annoying. I can't! I hit left trigger twice, down back B twice, just to try to turn around, and because of the input of the first one, I couldn't do the other Survive. ones at all. They didn't even, like, test this. You lose. Yep, we're gonna be hearing that a lot. I thought Sundo was actually gonna be a quick one, but it, it might end up taking us the longest simply because of the reptile trials. Survive. His moves are not fast enough to actually do the trials. You lose. Jesus Christ, man. Why does his move have to turn him around? Like, that's the biggest annoyance, is having to constantly keep turning. Survive. Right, we're gonna hit all three of them, because you can't do the move past them efficiently. If you want to hit the targets, you literally have to make a choice. You either lose all your health and hit the target, or miss the target and dodge the acid. Those are basically your choices. Can't turn. Come on. There we go. That is not an easy one to do. I'm not looking forward to Reptile Trial 2 if it's going to be more of that. It's going to be quite annoying. Jacks off the field. Oh, I wonder if you could actually cancel that. Road 
Brutality. Ermac wins. Like you could cancel that with your air move and then do the XYY, you'd get a bounce up afterward. Fight! Shit. Dark Minds, it's great. Oh, you can. Damn it. Kind of puts you in an awkward standing point, though. Ermac wins. Well, open this right away. Sharp sparks. General Shao Palette. What do sharp sparks do? knows the saw blade. The saw blade is absolute garbage. Okay, can I get out of this thing? Ermac wins. I don't want to get close to leveling him up because I'm actually starting to get the hang of him now. <laughs> Junking before doing that, but it's just not having it. Can't also, can't see that anymore. Ooh, she's just block master now. Break out of that? That's a weird looking grab breaker. Every time. Every time. Brutality. You um, got caged. Wins. Level up.
Oh shit. Here's a survive. Destroy ten demons before the timer runs out. Survive. Oh great, it's this I don't even know if I can do this with the room back because I don't have a projectile. Oh shit. Without a, oh wait, no, I actually technically do have a projectile. Survive. This is gonna require me to be in the air. No oh, game, what the hell? Okay, how did that even hit me? There we go. Damn, that gave me a lot of XP for a survive. How did he parry that? I didn't, it's Brutality. weird that he can parry that uh, soul burst. <laughs> Oh god, we have a tower here. And of course there's home dark ball on one of them. Why would it target me? It was on her side. Oh, because it's on the door. God damn it. That was a hugely missed uppercut. I don't know how the hell she landed that. I was still blocking. Oh, wow. I'm actually surprised that killed her. Close to him. Why is it not letting me cancel into that anymore? No matter how many times I try, I can't do what I've been doing this whole time. Gotta hear rain. Your 
death. Brutality. Ermac wins. Test your might. Excellent. Wilted Mixed Herbs. It's a one point stat increase for everything at least. No key item yet. Did they actually make Sundo Festival a bigger map? No, they couldn't have. This is our mini boss already. Some, yeah, I think I did that one instead. Ermac wins. Oh, there's some Baraka stuff for us. Mini boss is dead. Got two alternating paths. I can see the electric gate from the forward one. Some like enemies I fight, it doesn't let me cancel that. Fight! 
could have triggered the brutality. It did enough damage. clue right there magic bot okay what's the opposite of magic it's actually probably chaos maybe I, I don't know fight what you how? I was literally in my combo. That's they gotta they gotta work on something with that man. It doesn't make sense. Okay. You lose. We are doing a lot of damage to it though, but I just on a whim can end your combo. That time we did just die. But... No! Oh we beat it. I thought he had like one HP. Yeah, I think that the opposite of magic is chaos. Wins. Um, what would be the opposite of electricity, though? Acid? And the ring. Rico pallet. Yeah, the chests don't have that many good pallets in them this time around. Locked on. Is this something with sector? Sector. Fight. I mean, technically, frost is kind of a clue. If that's... If you wait... Uh, oh, you just have it again to activate home there. Okay. Or you don't. Let's see, what are his brutality names? Low level threat, fire, and forget. Finish her. Well, I did not expect the dog to kill her. Shit. What? Um. Okay, this fatality is also not triggering. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? Oh, I never have to use a cameo. I must not be mid enough. I must be like a speck away from the mid pixel. I don't know if this is right though. See if anybody. It's all videos all the time. How do you activate homing though? It is. I was on the right track. It is activating homing with his missiles. The problem is, is um, I'm. <laughs> I'm pressing RB again and holding it, or and holding like I'm. So I'm trying to do both, but it never activates homing. Wait, how is it the same every time? There we go. 
Oh, it takes two? Oh, shit. Do we even have enough time to do that? I don't even know if we have enough time. The thing says five. I don't know if 80 seconds is gonna be enough. Especially if the dog kills her. I guess I'm gonna have to get hit by the dog. Oh, but it switches off, so if it's her turn, it won't hit me. I really hope it's not five times, it's gonna be impossible. Oh, it shows me two times in a row at least. Hopefully it doesn't have to hit her, because it just smacked the cameo. I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's three. It's also gonna end with the brutality here in the case. Brutality. If it's five, that's gonna be really annoying. Oh no, this is actually probably going to be the worst one then. <laughs> That's aggressive. Five times? That's a lot for an 80 second match where an L a modifier can kill your opponent really quick. In order to activate homing, I gotta keep waiting for my cameo. It's also just really annoying and slow. Um, did homing activate? No, it did it. It did the move two times separately. What the hell? I just double tapped RB and it literally waited for the one to end to shoot out the other one. I can't do anything about that. That was extremely input delayed. She's already at half health and I only did it once. They should not have done five for this. That is like really not possible. I don't even have enough time. I'm gonna run out of time before I even can get four. Yeah, I don't know who decided this one, but it should have been like the um, uh, Kano one. Where you just have to do it like three times at most. Actually, wasn't there a relic that we got that had infinite cameo usage? Or was that a consumable that I sold? <laughs> if I don't have... We're gonna need that. I might have to come back. Because there's no way I'm gonna be able to do it with, like, the default cameo. Okay. And then his fatality is broken in this patch. Because that does not trigger. I'm gonna have to look at our relics. If we don't have a relic for infinite cameo usage, we're screwed. Because we're not gonna be able to do that. She doesn't have enough health and we don't have enough time. Weird things this season. Very poorly thought out things. Yeah, unlimited cameo meter. We're gonna have to try this. He does do double damage though, which she takes a decent amount of damage to him, so th we still might not be able to do it. Fight. Okay, never mind. This should make it extremely easy then. <laughs> we just need this relic. Why is my cameo disabled? Oh, she must have hit him. Let's 
do you have a finisher for that? No. Wait, I'm in the wrong thing. No, he doesn't. Oh, you have to be way further than mid for that to trigger. <laughs> Alright, if that wasn't enough times, then I think that... I think that that's wrong, then. But that's not the actual solution. There we go. I would not have been able to do that without the relic. Janet Cage. <laughs> Johnny Pallet and a smoke pallet and a new talisman, unlimited power. Hold for maximum. Okay, let's try that, I guess. The other one, the buzzsaw one is... That one's terrible. <laughs> the buzzsaw one from last season was also really bad. Fight! Let's see what this does. I have no idea what that did. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can't really combo off of that. What did my talisman do though? What the hell is that doing? Is it supposed to give me meter or something? Because as far as I can tell, it's not doing anything at all. Brutality. Ermac wins. Well, one more fight's gonna max out Ermac. Um, and then there's really no reason to play as him in invasions anymore. Because we all the XP would literally go to nowhere. Which is unfortunate. I was leveling up Raiden next, so we might switch to him. But I don't know what this does. 1200% did, like... The, I wish the talismans weren't as vague as they were. And they would actually just tell you what they did. <laughs> I don't know why that's an epic one. He kind of just waves his hand in the air and then that's it. Fight. Uh, I'm holding forward, Janet. Don't ignore the move. goes. Ermac is fully maxed out. We got, got a secret fight as well, though. Hey. Sub Sindel. Sindel Zero. Oh, I 
thought she. I thought they spawned another one, like a oh, endurance man. match at first, the way the camera moved. Old booster. I mean, he doesn't even take fire damage or anything like that, so I can just use it on Raiden, I guess. Well, it was fun playing as Ermac, but I don't want all this XP to go to waste. Raiden. So. Probably try to balance him out a bit if we're going to be using him. Janet Cage. <laughs> Not really sure what cameo is that great for him. Oh, is there a cosmetic thing? Another molten booster? That's a pretty cool reptile palette, though. Another inner titan? Too bad we don't have one for Raiden. Short circuit, that doesn't look bad. It's the inner titan for Havoc's Rage. We don't need that. Give me a chance at that landmine. There was no other way. Brutality. Raiden wins. Well, he went down quick. Sub Zero must be somewhat weak to lightning. <laughs> Sell some of this stuff. Finish him. 
Wait, how do I get- oh, is that- does this loop all the way- oh yeah, it does loop all the way in. Oh, great. <laughs> Reptile Trial 2. None of a bitch. Dash attacks and death roll to dodge. Okay. Survive. You lose. Oh, shit, alright. I didn't even know that was gonna happen. Survive. Wait, where's the other one? Oh. You lose. I'm I'm trying to amplify it. I amplified it the first time. I didn't even know I was standing on the target. But I it Survive. just I, I couldn't amplify. Oh, you have to go back through. That's why I didn't see it. You lose. What? Are you kidding? Is there another tar Oh, there's another target after that too. I got one acid ball's death. I'm, oh my god, I hit the flip stance button twice. Just turn around, reptile. My god, dude. That's like the hardest part is turning around. Why did that not work? Yeah, no shit. I had to break the, the target twice with an amplified attack. Because <laughs> the first time I did it, it didn't break. Survive. There we go. That was easier than the first one. It's just sometimes you hit the flip stance button and it, it doesn't let you turn around for a bit. And it throws you off. Because you, then you try putting in your special to try to do it because you're time. A fire bot? Alright, we're going to have to use someone with ice. Which we already had Sub-Zero kind of set up for it. Sub zero. Now we have even more points. This is if this doesn't do enough damage, then nothing will. Yeah, that did enough. Sub Zero wins. Alright, another robot dead. Oh shit, I'm still Sub Zero. <laughs> oh well. Be resilient to ice, though. Mind your place. Brutality. Sub Zero wins. I'd remember to change character this time. Is this is this gonna require a key? I mean, I don't even know why I'm saying that. Usually, most definitive yes. Luckily, there's a shop near this one. Is this the? Yeah, this is the one that I'm talking about. 
We don't want that one. Wrong button. Oh, wait, why did I switch back to Ermac? <laughs> Damn it. Raiden. We may pallet for that. Oh, great, right, a tower. Dundo is actually a little bit bigger than it was in the previous season so far. Fight. They might just be adding some extra padding. With these towers. some time to play some fallout like you you escape the old ball and chain <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> and she's watching yeah test your well, life the way i said it was super serious i know <laughs> yeah finally finally get a chance to play it for a little longer than like five minutes. I'm out of the vault. <laughs> Dude, you're playing Fallout 3 Vegas? Yeah. Through Vegas. Fallout, yep. Fallout New 3 oh. Vegas? Yeah. <laughs> Fallout New 3. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> Broken Steel. I'm trying to think of what the other updates are. The other DLC are. Broken blues. Yeah. Finish him. Oh, Dude, I'm playing as your main. Raiden? Raiden? Yeah. Are they forcing you to? No, I just already hit the level cap with Ermac. So now. Oh, really? Yeah. So now all of the XP would be going to waste, and I'm in the I'm in the third Mesa right now. Oh, that's actually a pretty decent Raiden palette. Oh, this is actually just from huh. Mastery 27. There's the key item, though. So, you must level up pretty fast, then. I mean, you like I, like I said, the first time completion bonus for the nodes in your first initial run through everything is really good. It's just when you finish all of that and you're forced to do the gateway stuff, it, that's when it slows down a lot. That's why uh -huh. that's why I'm not playing as Ermac right now, so that I can utilize the XP from the first time completion bonus. <laughs> Otherwise, it would just all be going to waste. I would like gotcha. to keep playing as Ermac because I was finally getting the hang of him, but it'd be thousands of XP just gone. I'm getting so, so much nostalgia, man. Fall 3. 
It's an amazing game. I'm getting ambushed. Ambush. Oh, I'm fighting Janet Cage. Can do the speed again? It's so weird. So basically, now with the ambushes and secret fights, you know the random characters you fight at the end of the story? Yeah. That's what the random encounters, like uh, secrets and ambushes are now. It's just like those random characters. That's what I was seeing earlier. Yeah. So, but you can't do like finishers to them. They just explode. <laughs> oh. So they must not all all of them must not have like breakable models or something like that. I don't actually know. Too many ninjas. What would that mean? Oh, it's probably something for chameleon. Possibly, chameleon. Whatever that means, though, I don't know. Sometimes you have to do a certain amount of moves, or just a finisher. Maybe you have to do one of each of Chameleon's moves or something? I have no idea. Fight! Yeah, I'm moving fast now. I'm moving like, uh, one of the, uh, people that have mail that need to tell you something. Just they take off all their clothes. <laughs> yeah. I have an important message from the, from the front lines of the Imperials. Yeah. Are they all sprint up to you? Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And the Rads thing. I think in New Vegas it's like orange. It has that like orange tint. But it's just. It's great. God, it's been so long since I've actually played. Three. I still have to figure out what kind of like shader mod I want for it. So I do want something that keeps like the original aesthetic. I mean, yeah. I am the calm Whenever you're done, take a look at my my yeah. I mean. I think I'm using NMCs, but that's for the New Vegas one. Oh, does he have like Obviously. a weather and lighting mod or something? No, I don't think that it... Yeah, I don't think it, it's anything like that. I mean, to me it looks nice. But... <laughs> yeah, probably looks like shit then. It's crazy too, you get all the uh, DLC from New Vegas too. Like, as soon as you get out of the vault. Oh. Cause that's how it was in New Vegas. Like, there was all that pre-order DLC. Like, the pre-order packs. Depending yeah. on where you got it from. Does it come with all that now, though? Yeah. Quite a guy. I hate when games but do yeah, that, but then they don't... They don't have, like, yeah. a version where you get all that stuff. Yeah, I believe that's in like their game of the their version of like the game of the year edition. Okay. So, you should have that. Mad Max is actually one of those games. They had like a ton of hood ornaments from different retailers, but the only way to unlock it is with a mod. I personally think I have one of the better ones, but I, I think I, I don't remember exactly where I got mine from. Whatever it was, I think it was. Um, I got. Oh. I got the uh, weather 10 millimeter pen. Or I could have gotten like throwing spears, uh, grenade launcher, which is nice. Not a bad or a shotgun. Bring 
trying to decide if I want to go. If I wanted to go to Megaton first, or if I wanted to go to Springdale Elementary. But you gotta go into a. You gotta yeah, you gotta go into that home in Springvale and then try to convince the girl to get a I speech check. Her. Or just take her caps. <laughs> she just gives them freely. <laughs> this should be the move. Fatality. Scorpion wins. Yeah, there we go. The MK3 outfits for the ninjas Excellent. are so good in this game, though. They look better than the MKX ones did. I still like the MKX ones, but these have a better overall look. I'm gonna switch to Ermac. I don't want to play as the new character. <laughs> Janet Cage. So you know how there's like combo breakers in this game? Bro, oh, a hundred caps to disarm a nuclear bomb that's in the middle of their city. That's it's terrible. I I usually just say I'll do it for free. Wait, what were you saying? You know how there's like combo breaker in this? Yeah. Mavado is apparently gonna if you do a flawless block, you can initiate a combo breaker without me spending meter. With Mavado? Yeah, as a cameo. That's like oh, one wow. of his cameo abilities. He's not in the game yet, but they showed it. Which that Oh I like that Raiden outfit. Yeah, it's in the shrine from last season. They also added uh Kung Lao's village outfit. They finally added the the like story, the when remember when they go on that stealth mission in Outworld? Yeah. And he has he has like the Matrix looking armor. For Kung Lao, like they all kind of look like oh, Kenji's yeah, yeah. armor. They finally added that to the shrine for Kung Lao. Mm. I was wondering where that armor set was. They just uh, uh, next season they're probably gonna have Johnny Cage's because he also is missing his. And then they added like the festival disguise outfit for Kenji in the shrine. Dude, you gonna play this season for the Dark Raiden outfit? Oh, they actually have it? Yeah, I mean, it's young Raiden's face wearing it, but... <laughs> like, you know how we were hoping it would be old Raiden? Yeah. It's not. They did you know, make his face a, a little for messed up. <laughs> yeah. They also have a voice you have it? No, not yet. I have to finish. It's the... He's the boss. Oh. Uh. Course. Which I am actually almost done with Sundo Festival here. I think I'm at the boss. Yep. Wait, no, there's one fight before the boss. I hate when they do that. <laughs> it's just a random fight. Fight! <laughs> I'm gonna go straight through DC. Okay. First place, for first order of business. Mm -hmm. It's bad you have to go through all the subways first. Yeah. See, that's so crazy when you do eventually get to D DC, though. It's just chaos. Finish it. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a fight going on against the Super Mutants and the Brotherhood, right? Yeah. Or is it, dude, where are you? What are you talking about? I have to f go through the subways. Just TCL. That doesn't work correctly, though, because you have to initiate a load transition for DC to load properly. <laughs> yeah, you go there, you get... You just hit one of the... Uh, 
one of the doors and then you go back out. But if you can find one of the interactions on the other side. <laughs> but yeah, it's like its own area. Yeah. Dude, you think consoles could have loaded that back in the day? Of course, dude. PlayStation, definitely. <laughs> Finish. Did they actually change it again? Yeah, this this mod makes everyone's faces look much much better. What's it called? Um, it's like this is like the best one for TTW. Uh, oh, for TTW. Um. Is it like something something formerly something something? No, it's two wastelands redesigned. Oh, okay, never mind. That's like specifically for that mod. Yeah. I wish it looked as good as FCO, but like the fall character overhaul just looks so it looks so good. But it is what it is. Right. Sundo boss. It's a reptile. Sundo bro, yo. Oh, wait. Does Raiden... Does he take more damage from acid? I'm not sure. Because they always have this stupid Astro projectile shit. won't be joining shit. you in Outworld. She says her duties lie in Earthrealm. His lizard actually changes color and kind of skin like that. I didn't know that. Oh, I think I can make it acid because I'm taking damage. Listen to the classic, uh. Galaxy News Radio, man. Apparently, Three Dogs, the voice actor from Three Dogs, said he might be doing something for Fallout Season 2. Oh, really? That's been confirmed now? I don't know. I didn't even know that Season... They didn't... Like, they didn't officially state Season 2 was a thing yet. I don't know if he's being called that. Might do something for season two, which isn't even a thing yet, so how does he even know that he's gonna be asked to do something? I got the tunnel snake's armor. If he does an acid projectile thing, I'm pretty screwed. He's going to take too much damage. Do you happen to remember what the carry like console was? Um... You know me. It's probably Oblivion, like Oblivion, but, uh, depending on the mods you have, you should be able to do, like, uh, instead of, you know, like, in Skyrim, it's, like, help, then whatever you're trying to look for. Yeah. In Fallout... There's a mod that activates it to where you type search, and then what you're looking for, and it works. So I don't know if you can do like search and then space carry wait, and then it might show you the command. die there we go <laughs> damn that was getting close there was 
no other way. Brutality. Raiden wins. It's point twenty five HP. Alright, figure it out. Player dot mod AV carry weight. Well, there's two different ones, cause uh, I can't remember if it was, cause there's also set AV carry weight. Now that you like, now I remember. But I one of them's mm -hmm. permanent, one of them's temporary until you reload. I mm. don't remember which one's which. That's a kind of a cool reptile mask. Oh, so they changed it. So you know how there was just the hunting rifle? Yeah. Like in Fall Three. Now it's the, it's the 32 rifle. Oh. At least in this. Hmm. Well, you might as well be playing a different game. You're not even a Fallout 3 I fan. Know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Terrible. Right. Sundo Festival is done. That is the first three mesas. That's when I planned on stopping. Oh fuck, the fourth mesa is the ramparts. <laughs> I hate the ramparts. This place is just too massive. Aim down sights. It's, it's so nice, <laughs> dude. Dude, I know, I have it in Fallout 3. I know. It's just, it's crazy to like have it in Fallout 3. Oh, let me just do the first fight here so I can open up the shop. They added uh, in the shop fight. for the premium store. Uh -huh. They added Deception, Shao Kahn, well, General Shao. And then they also added um, Deadly Alliance, Quan Chi. Oh, nice. And then... Oh, the, for the shop, though, for the yeah. paid one. Luckily, they're not $12 anymore. They're $5 now. <laughs> this is a little bit better, I guess. But um, they all the other ones that, that are in the rotation that haven't shown up yet is Deadly Alliance Shang Tsung. Oh. And, and uh, Deception Sindel. Like, alternate costume Deception Sindel. I don't know what that looks like. It, it's kind of like a queen. She has, like, a crown. But... In the in Deadly in Deception it was like red by default. They made it purple by default in this. I mean Shang Tsung That'd be weird, like They showed it. He's got his like outfit. He's got his like shoulder length hair, the goatee. <laughs> the red <laughs> the, rose. the like hanging goatee, right? Yeah. Yeah. His hair doesn't have like, like a... the bang like the little bangs that drape front, but it's very similar. Does it change his fighting stance? To, to, uh, like Viper or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Funny. Dude, I found Walter. The next time. Leaks in the pipes. Yeah, I think you have to finish that first before you can start giving him scrap. They, they broke this brutality completely now. For Raiden? What is it? Overload. I was doing it before this update. It says hold up during hit, but it actually is hit up three times. But now up three times doesn't even work. So you can't hit up three times or hold up. <laughs> it just doesn't do anything anymore. What? Yeah, I remember using that all the time. Yeah, it's just you can't do it anymore, I guess. Finish him. Okay. They're like, oh, this isn't correct. It's up. I'll tap up three times. Let's just disable it. Fatality. Raiden wins. Damn, that's what a thousand P a thousand P. That's what a thousand XP looks like at rank twenty-seven. <laughs> It's like barely anything. For Ermac, that's like a huge amount. I just wanted to do that so the I mean, shot for... was open. Megaton yeah, I know for one a water purifier. Oh, I was gonna I was saying for Megaton having a water purifier. I like that's that's surprising. Most places around the wasteland don't. Uh -huh. Yeah, when I was talking to Tiger about it, because I just made a joke, because um, 
he was just the, he was saying that the reason why he didn't get into Fallout Three was because of like the story with the whole like you're looking for your dad thing. He's like it just yeah. he's like it's just stupid. And I'm like I'm like you're right. Looking for your dad zero out of ten. Looking for your son ten out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much this who ends up being as old as your dad. Older. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Older. yeah your dad like. <laughs> yeah, in Fallout Three. Like a grandpa. 3. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's just... funny. And then I was like, yeah, and I was like, you know, it turns into like a whole other thing, right? Like they're they're trying to purify water around the wasteland. He's like, oh, how is that any better? I'm like, what do you mean? That's like one of the most important things to have when all the water is radiated. <laughs> <laughs> like the hell? It's like you're right. Do you just? You either have to deliver a, spe a special chip, or the Institute just wants to replace everybody with synths by secretly murdering everybody. That's that's better. I mean, the whole... I like that they did this in the show. Like, the whole thing with Fallout 1, having to get the water chip. It was yeah, like a little yeah. reference. Yeah, that's basically like the whole story of the first game. Mm hmm. Dude, with this mod, people that are old look so old. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like that with the one that I have, too. Because I remember the, the one old dude in one of the, in like Tenpenny Tower. I was like, his model look, he was like super, like uber wrinkly. <laughs> See if I can uh we, we, oh that's right. I have thirty-one thousand seasonal credits now. Get some stuff from the shop. I usually just start with getting everything with VK because I just play as him. Yeah, it's so weird. Like these palettes for this season actually look pretty cool, but it's just the color scheme that's so odd. Because it's like yellows and blues. For evil raid in season, but like the hmm. blue lightning effects in this suit do look cool. Makes it look like a uh, fire fire god, right? Well, like corrupted fire god almost, corrupted but not corrupted because it's blue instead of red. <laughs> like if you look at the eyes on it. It's like a. How do I. Can I pan it up? Maybe not. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and I think this season's Titan battle is gonna be Rain, so it's gonna be his Order of Darkness skin. Which in the story mode, it's the one where he's got like the long hair. Oh. It actually looks pretty cool. I think next season it's gonna the main boss is gonna be Reptile, so it's gonna be his Order of Darkness outfit, which I don't know if you've seen it or not, but that thing looks it looks nuts. I don't know what the Titan battle for next season is gonna be though. Okay, so we got Luke Kang's stuff. Oh, they cap out at five this time. Last season it was six, so it actually less things to spend seasonal credits on, so less of a grind overall. Yeah. This with like brighter blues would look really cool with Katana with the glowing blue eyes, but. It's got orange, which looks kind of weird. <sighs> I forgot that. Because I saw the post in um, that Eric had in Discord. Uh huh. I forgot that Origins even had a Far Cry Primal suit. 
That's what he's wearing. Oh. I wonder if it was one of the Ubisoft Connect rewards. You always ask him. Well, dude, if you would have showed up. <laughs> showed up where? On my stream. Today? I mean, I'm still streaming right now. Yeah, I know. I'm still, I'm still in it. Yeah, I don't think he noticed it. I did post a video right before I screamed. Oh, you mean you mean Eric? Oh. Yeah. Well, there's all my seasonal credits for now. I want to see what the other gear for Ermac was. <laughs> there's some crazy looking stuff. Yeah, what the hell? These are so weird. Is this animated? No, it is just a static image. That's dumb. I mean, there is like a effect, but the face doesn't move. If he had a different outfit, this would actually look pretty cool. Because it looks more like a ninja mask. I'm trying to take a screenshot of this dude, like how old this dude looks. It's, it's just not working. Are you trying to use like the Steam Overlay shortcut for it? No, I'm trying to use the uh, the GeForce one. Oh, I just usually I just usually use print screen on the keyboard. You just have to paste it somewhere. That's, uh, that's everything we unlocked for Ermac. And those are the first three mesas, so I'm probably just gonna call the stream here, because that's usually what I do. I do the first three mesas on the first stream, and then the last three on the next one, which will probably be on Thursday. I don't see why it wouldn't be. But yeah, uh, this season, some of the changes are good to some of the stuff. Like, I like that they reduced the survives and added some other stuff in the robot malfunctioning or the mal malfunctioning robots mini game that they added was confusing at first but once you understand it it's actually pretty straightforward and super easy the character trials can be just as annoying as survive sometimes they're really easy and some of them are just kind of enjoyable like kung lao's were actually kind of fun so i do like those um I don't know what they did with the seasonal tower this time, so I don't know if it's as ridiculous as last season's or not, where they expect you to beat it 60 times to get all pallets, because that's just... I don't even know. That's insane. But yeah, overall, Ermac is really fun to use. He's harder to get used to than Peacemaker is, but once you do get used to him, you can do some pretty crazy stuff for him. Like, just some of his basic attacks, you can cancel into his mid-air attacks. <laughs> Which is interesting, because it feels really weird, but it's it works really well once you get the hang of it. So yeah, overall, I'm not minding this season so far. Um, the end game grind is really what's going to determine whether or not it's better than the last season. Though I feel like the gateway tower XP is going to be exactly the same. I don't know why they would change it. They didn't say they did. So that's it's just going to be one of those things where you get your first time bonuses and then... You just wait until the next season if you want to level up someone else instead of worrying about the gateway stuff. But, uh, yeah. They are also going to be doing Twitch drop skins apparently this month. On, like, the 22nd. And they're, like, these purple themed skins. Some of them are, like, the Order of Darkness skins, too. Like, purple versions of it. And they some of them look pretty cool. So if anybody's interested in that, I'd keep an eye out. But, um, yeah. The next Tomb Raider video should be ready uh tomorrow as well or i guess for us later today because it's already technically <laughs> wednesday or yeah wednesday so but yeah as always thanks to anyone who joined in and watched except you ryan yeah screw me yeah um, <laughs> rtc it's been a while but i mean you were in it the second it started i know you're probably not here anymore but I saw he put in a message in the chat before I even went live. 
Um, but yeah, so I always appreciate it. Anybody who just stopped in to watch, thank you for that. Um, my friend in here, his name's Ryan Slice by Gaming. He's probably going to be streaming as later today or tomorrow as well. And I usually I usually join him on his streams. So yeah, come, come hang out, guys. Yeah, you can catch me there as well and well and my latest tomb raider video and then yeah like i said on thursday i should be able to finish up this season of invasions if not we'll probably just do it friday or saturday or something like that but i'm planning on thursday but again thanks to anyone who watched and i'll see you in the next one see you guys